Welcome back to the MKP. I can't say six week transformation anymore because it's been eight weeks. I intended on stopping the cut at six weeks. You guys saw the previous video I did two weeks ago. Today is Tuesday once again. Tuesday the 24th of April and this morning I'm here to take my measurements. I'm here to show you guys how much I weigh. I'm here to take some progress pictures and give you guys an eight week update. So the way I'm going to structure things going forward, I am cutting for 12 weeks total. I really do want to get in some awesome shape at the end of this. I feel like if I stopped after six weeks, yes, I made some great progress, but it wasn't enough. And if I was to transition back into a bulk at that point, you know, I can see it happening two, three, four weeks will go by. I'll be sweet. I might put on a kg per week, but you know, once I get to that four week mark and I'm 95, 96 kgs again, which is definitely going to happen, you know, I would have lost all definition in my midsection and I'd pretty much be back to square one. So that ain't happening. And if it does happen, I'll be in great shape at the start of it. So if I do put on three or four kgs, it's not going to be the end of the world. But you know, I don't plan on that happening guys. This cut was for a reason. It was to show you guys what's possible. And it was also to get me into some good shape so I can maintain it. So I can look impressive. I can take good pictures for Instagram. I can really, really promote major key physiques, you know, in some good shape and get people's attention. I mean, people in good shape with, with a nice six pack gets people's attention, but most people don't have the journey documented on YouTube like I do. So I'm really glad I've done it. Before I take some measurements, I'll show you guys what we weighed this morning. Got up at seven in the morning, I went down to the gym, no food, I think I had about half a liter of water, and I took my weight, and here it is. I'm gonna call that 89.5 kilos, which means that Going back, what did we start at? We started, eight weeks ago, we started at 99.1 kilos. Two weeks after that, at the two week mark, we were at 95 kilos. Another two weeks, at the four week mark, we were at 93.15. Two weeks ago, at the six week mark, we were at 91.15 kilos. And today, Another two weeks on, we're at the eight week mark and we're weighing in at 89.5 kilos. So overall, it was a four kilo loss in those first two weeks. From week number two to week number four, we had another two kilos loss. From week number four to week number six, we lost another two kilos. And from week number six to week number eight, we've lost 1.65 kilos. So if we can keep this going for the next two weeks, at the end of 10 weeks, I'm aiming to be at around about 88 kilos. And then from there, we've got another two weeks to go to make it 12 weeks, and I'm gonna, re I'm gonna get really shredded. So right now, I'm gonna show you guys a quick physique update. I had trained some back. Um, I've actually changed gyms. I've got two memberships now. We've got the Anytime Fitness membership, and we've got Lassiter's Health Club here in Alice Springs. And um, they've got some sick lighting, as do most gym bathrooms now. So I went into the bathroom after training back. I did a little bit of posing. And here it is. So that is me at around about 90 kilos on the dot and like I said this morning I weighed in at 89.5 so it's not my lowest I have hit 88 point something but that was in a very very depleted state a few days ago so uh, yeah 89.5 kilos is where we're at now I'm going to take my measurements as you guys know we filled out this over the past six weeks We've got day one measurements, day 14, day 28, day 42, and this was the differences. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip over the page and keep going. If I can find a pen. 
All right, we have the pen. We've got the measuring tape. We've got the pad. Let's do this. Next minute. All right, all done for another week. Feels good. What doesn't feel good is the fact that my measurements haven't actually changed that much, to be honest. I've lost another two kilos, but I don't know where it's come from. Let me just sit down and uh, we'll run through them. <sighs> That's better. All right, so let's get these numbers down. So basically guys, all we've done is turned over the page and continued in the exact same fashion that we did before. So I'm just going to list out all the measurements and put in uh, week number eight right here. Now if we're going to talk about the differences from six weeks to eight weeks, I've got to be honest with you, there's not a whole lot of difference. In fact, yeah, I mean, where has the weight come from? I don't know. I honestly think, like definitely the cut around my chest has got deeper. Uh, my abs are coming in more, but the uh, the width the width of my waist is is not coming in at the moment because I feel like you know losing fat is not linear. You lose you you know you can't spot reduce. I see it as a whole layer over your whole body, and slowly slowly you're chipping away. You know your body genetically will hold on to fat in certain places longer than others. So with that said, over the past two weeks. I would say, uh, you know, if anything, my upper body has leaned out a little bit more. My, my lower body, my legs have definitely leaned out, but my waist has pretty much stayed the same. So anyways, neck, 15 and a half inches, the same. Shoulders, we are at 50 and a half, which was the same as last week, same as last time. Chest, we've actually put on an inch, I'm not sure how. I, I honestly think that last time I took the measurements, my chest, was, well, I was just really flat. And so my chest was really flat. Uh, waist has come down another quarter of an inch. So we're at 32.5 inches right now. Left arm still at 16. Right arm still at 16 inches. My left thigh is now at 24.5. My right thigh is at 24.5, which was the same as last week. And my calves have been pretty much the same throughout, which is 15 and a half inches. So I'm definitely, I'm, you know, yeah, I say I want to get lean. I say I want to get shredded, but I don't want to lose too much more size. Although, you know, they always say, and it's true, the easiest way to look like you're 10 pounds bigger is to lose 10 pounds of fat. No shit. That is so true. So when this cut is over, I will be very depleted. I will be quite flat, but I will be very lean. And so what that means is that when I do start eating properly again, I'll start filling out and uh, my, you know, my body will will transform once again, you know, I'll get, I'll do this 12 week transformation to get myself into this lean condition. And then that following two weeks is going to be a transformation of its own, filling out basically. So I'll definitely be making a video about that. But for now, I'm going to show you guys my progress pictures that I just took before. Once again, as I always say, one from the front, one from the side, one from the back, and one from the other side. So I've kept those very consistent the whole entire time, which means that now I have some really awesome looking before and after pictures, but we're not done yet. So that my friends is pretty much it for another two weeks. I will see you guys back here on Tuesday, the Tuesday, the 8th, Tuesday the 8th of uh, May. We'll be back here, right here, take some more measurements. I'm going to do my very best to get my waist under 32 inches next time. One like equals one prayer. So like this video. If you have enjoyed the series, please like it. That's it guys. Have a good one. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next time.